So another way to interpret the results of an L system uh, is to use what we call turtle graphics. So the idea behind turtle graphics is that we begin with a node, which we call our turtle, and this, this node is defined at a certain position. Uh, we can also define which direction the turtle is facing, right? So uh, we could think of this as uh, the turtle's heading, right? So it begins pointing upwards. So in a given step size, uh, we can instruct the turtle to move forward. We can say that uh, maybe we'll, we'll represent this with the symbol F, and we'll say that F means move move forward all right and we're going to have the turtle move forward in a uniform step size so uh, maybe uh, with one movement forward we'd cover this much space and then another move forward would cover the same amount of space uh, as well all right we can also uh, issue commands such that the turtle changes its heading uh, essentially rotating the turtle right so you could have it rotate uh, let's say by an angle of 90 degrees. So a 90 degree rotation. And let's, uh, let's use the plus symbol to represent a clockwise, a clockwise rotation. And we'll use the negative symbol to represent a counterclockwise rotation. So uh, with, with all of these um, actions, uh, defined, we can uh, we can have our turtle uh, move around in a uh, in a given way, right? We could have it make some forward movements, rotate, make a few more forward movements again in the direction of its new heading, and then maybe well maybe we rotate it counterclockwise right here and have it move forward again, and uh, maybe another clockwise rotation and have it move like that. All right, so with all of these operations combined, we can actually define a fairly complex uh, movement pattern for this turtle. And well, I mean, we can uh, we can interpret this information any way we like. Uh, we could uh, we could move we could physically move an object like a turtle uh, in uh, three dimensional space, or we could, for example, draw lines and uh, create create an interesting path uh, by, by just uh, drawing out these lines according to these commands. So relating this back to our understanding of L systems, we could create an entire L system uh, which makes use of turtle graphics. So to define our variables, again, we could say that, that our variables are simply uh, the characters F for a forward movement plus for that clockwise rotation and minus for the counterclockwise rotation. We could say that our uh, axiom is, uh, well, maybe just the character F, just to start with something simple. And then our rules. Uh, we could define our rules to say that, uh, well, an F uh, becomes maybe, uh, maybe F uh, and then a clockwise rotation, forward again, and then uh, counterclockwise rotation, and then we finish off with another move forward. All right, so taking a look at a few iterations of this L system. Uh, well, at iteration zero, we start out with our axiom. At iteration one, the axiom is rewritten as this uh, set of characters. So we can just uh, copy those down here. And then at iteration uh, two, at iteration two, we can see that, well, the first F will be replaced by another set of these, right? Then we, right, so, so that takes care of that character. Then we have a plus, and then we have another F, right? Which gives us another copy of these characters, right? That takes care of that. And we have a backwards or a, or a counterclockwise rotation, and we finish off with another right with another f which is rewritten as again this uh, this string so again fairly quickly we can come up with a complex set of instructions telling our turtle to move around in space so let's take a look at what 
uh, that movement might look like. So starting with the first character here. We could start from our starting position and move forward. Then we get a clockwise rotation. Move forward again. Counterclockwise rotation, so we're pointing up again. Move forward. Clockwise, move forward. Clockwise, move forward. Counterclockwise and forward. Uh, counterclockwise and forward again. Clockwise and forward again. Counterclockwise and forward uh, to finish off here. I hope I did not make a mistake. Sometimes it gets a little bit confusing uh, drawing out these L systems uh, by hand. However, we can see that, you know, with, with fairly little effort, we can define a rather interesting looking um, path for uh, either an, an object to follow or, uh, again, if we, if we interpreted these, uh, these, uh, these paths as line segments, we could, we could draw out a, a shape and evolve its shape over time. So we can take a look at another example inside of Maya here. And uh, let's just go ahead and run this script and uh, see, uh, let's scroll down here and take a look at how this L system works. Right, so we, we, we can see that we're working with the variable uh, F and the constants uh, plus and minus. Again, so F is, is going to be rewritten as this string right here. Uh, plus and minus will not be rewritten, so they are our constants. Uh, our, our starting axiom is f, and uh, well, yeah, we have this just this one rule which will be used to rewrite the string. So let's well, let's create one generation. You can see f has been rewritten, and a second generation, which I mean already has increased dramatically in complexity here. And let's just get a sense for what this uh, L system is going to look like. I'm going to go ahead and interpret that sentence and hide the grid so we can take a look at the resulting shape here. Right, so only at uh, uh, iteration two this would be. We have a fairly interesting looking path here. So this is a variation on uh, uh, a, a Koch curve named after von Koch uh, using 90 degree angles. Uh, so, so, so again, the, the plus and the minus symbols in this L system are used to signify clockwise and counterclockwise rotations. So uh, for, for, a, for a turtle of sorts, right? Kind of working with that turtle graphics idea. So let's take a look and see what this L system is actually doing, uh, right? The, the next generation function here that builds on the preceding sentence. It uh, works uh, in a similar way to the, the one we just looked at. Uh, again, if, if we encounter the, the symbol F, right, which is uh, the kind of the starting symbol for our one and only rule, uh, then of course we concatenate uh, in uh, the resulting string there for, for, for this rule and build on that, uh, that, that working sentence that we work on on a given iteration. Uh, otherwise, of course, if we encounter the plus or minus characters, we're just going to add that character back in to the, the, the working sentence. All right, so the rest of this uh, function works the same way, right, for, for generating our iterations. And then we have a draw line function. I mean, pretty, pretty straightforward here in Maya. I just take a start position and a direction vector. This is a the quick and dirty way to implement these 90 degree potential rotations. And uh, basically we just draw a curve object uh, from the starting position and then uh, uh, out to a, a, a given heading, right? These, are, th these direction vectors are just uh, unit vectors, either pointing forwards, uh, to the right, to the left, backwards. And uh, well, well, we'll see in a second how that direction vector uh, is being changed or, or we're, we're selecting a different heading depending on uh, you know whether or not we've encountered a plus or a minus character All right so this is our draw line function and finally down in interpret sentence here uh, we uh, well again we we just iterate through every 
uh, character in the sentence that we're interpreting. Of course, if we encounter an F, we draw a line forward. If we encounter a plus sign, we, we in effect, perform a 90-degree rotation by simply uh, selecting uh, the, the, the heading corresponding to a 90-degree rotation uh, and, and vice versa for the minus sign. And uh, we, can, we can use a little bit of Python uh, magic there where we're allowed to use uh, negative indices on our list to, to get this to work. All right, but uh, not, not to get too lost in the technical details there, this, uh, this very simple L system, which uses the turtle graphics approach, gives us some pretty nice results, even with uh, just a few iterations, right? So uh, let's, let's actually restart here and create, so that's iteration one, two, uh, three, let's interpret that. You can see we get a more complex shape here, and uh, one more uh, generation, and we get an even, uh, even more interesting fractal here. All right, so that is, that is uh, a, a, one of the Coke curves uh, using 90 degree angles. And one more example here in Maya, we're going to take a look at the dragon curve, which is a, another fairly well-known uh, fractal that can be generated using an L system. Let's make a few generations. Uh, how about, let's, yeah, sure, let's try six generations for this L system. We can see we, uh, we start uh, tracing out this interesting looking shape using just 90 degree rotations. Let's try, let's try, let's bring it up to eight iterations here. And we can see that we're starting to get this nice curve shape. And finally, let's bring it up to 10 iterations and uh, generate that. And here we go. This is, this is the dragon curve. Uh, again, a, a fairly well-known fractal. And we can see that the, uh, the, uh, we've just changed the rules a little bit, added in a second rule here. Uh, we are using two variables, F and G, uh, along with our uh, clockwise and counterclockwise rotations. But yeah, just, just with two very simple rules here. Again, we can use the same approach and uh, uh, again, with only 10 iterations, start generating this very interesting looking curve. All right, so this is the dragon curve.